if you have not taken up this path, what do you reckon you would be doing now? Yeah, I like to be a farmer in China. <laughs> really? <laughs> I... Go back to nature. Really? Uh, yeah. oh, wow, okay. Hi, uh, welcome to this episode of the 618 show, the Experts Edition. So today uh, we have special guest from Lux New House. By the way, my name is Saba, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Okay. First, we have, on my right here we have Jimmy. Jimmy, tell us a yeah. more about yourself. Yeah. So, Jimmy Tong uh, from Lux New House Group. So I'm the president of the group. Thank you, Jimmy. And uh, I'm Rain from Lux New House. Uh, I'm his executive assistant. So I try to shadow him as much as I can. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, now, you're probably wondering why we are shooting this episode. Very simple. Huh? When you think of interior design, it's natural for you to start thinking of what are the beautiful surfaces that make up the interior of your house. Uh, anything from floors, feature walls, countertop materials uh, that will make your house look really good uh, inside and out. But the genesis of this episode is basically, uh, we started wondering, right? Do homeowners know uh, what are the building materials that make up the house, right? Uh, which company is your interior designer getting the building materials from? So these are the questions that prompted us to shoot this episode. And uh, Lux New House is is not a new name. Uh, you just need to Google and you'll see that you, you play a part in a lot of projects in Singapore, both commercial and residential. And uh, we look at the introduction as well for Lux New House, so I just acquaint our home audience uh, about Lux New House. Now, would you agree that you have come a long way since 1994, right? Very long way, right? Yeah. And you started out um, with built-in appliances, mm. right? And then you went on uh, and you kind of struck gold with solid surfaces. Mm. And as if that's not enough, you went further, you doubled your profit with mm. acrylic solid surface. Mm. So uh, from 1994 until now, so how has it evolved in your own words? Mm. Maybe tell us a little bit more. Okay. Uh, this began with uh, um, with with reference to the uh, surfaces. Mm -hmm. So you begin with solid surfaces, and it is a material that is very flexible that impressed me uh, favorably. Originally, it's used in the uh, kitchen countertop, but mm -hmm. we have transformed the application uh, of using this. Uh, this uh, very versatile material mm -hmm. from countertop to vanity mm -hmm. to wall cladding and then from wall cladding to finishing material cladding mm -hmm. and one of the distinguishing feature is this uh, special properties so this can be chemical resistant, sting resistant, heat resistant so in a nutshell it will be high performance surfaces Mm. So we transform the uses of it to the different application, mm -hmm. and and it is actually a natural grow. Is not that we want to just not satisfy and expand it. It's very natural. So the material has a lot of uh, versatile mm. properties. So uh, so it makes there, it it makes it easier yeah. to, um, to make it compelling for the homeowners to consider right, it, right? Right. So. Uh, and indeed, it, was, it served the purpose, so helping the the homeowner to get good solutions. Mm -hmm. And in addition to the material itself, so we looking at uh, mm -hmm. as Luck knew how building up our mm -hmm. capability of using the material to to with the technology, with the equipment, with the design mm -hmm. capability, with the fabrication capability, we building up together. To turn it to a solution, a very product solutions for the home and mm -hmm. commercial and uh, project uh, customer okay. as well. Thanks. So this transformation uh, uh, from kitchen countertop to kitchen cladding mm -hmm. of the kitchen mm -hmm. door and carcass to uh, vanity countertop to wall cladding to even bath cladding and then from interior wall to exterior wall cladding with the technology of uh, uh, cladding systems material together for turnkey solution then then we we'll move on from this special surface to another material 
called quads to complement okay. and at least harder and it's very strong. Okay. But then uh, it's also not as flexible as sausage, so it complement. Mm, okay. and, and since then also we moved to uh, another new material. The latest one is this uh, porcelain slabs. Slab, engineering yeah. marble. It's still about, it's all about okay. services. So, so you're referring you yeah. to DDO, right? Yeah. DDO, yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, the, our Italian uh, engineering marble under our own house brand mm -hmm. and produced by the best technology leader of Ivy Ceramica Group. So uh, this is also a very wonderful material, very beautiful. So mm -hmm. it, it complements. So summing up, uh, helping people, our, our customers to see what Lux Newhouse really offering is a high performance, beautiful material which is engineered. Mm -hmm. So, um, and this also serves the purpose with the uh, environmental concern with uh, what we have in the world. We don't take away from the nature, but we are using mm -hmm. our engineering method, the technology, and the equipment to produce good solution. Mm -hmm. So, uh, services yes. for home. If, uh, thanks for mentioning the part about the environmental concern. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, for the next question, right, either one of you can 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 uh, front it. Uh, how how big is uh, environmental concern now when it comes to influencing the buying decision of your customers? Uh, do you is it like an afterthought, uh, or is it something that comes up front and center? when they uh, approach Lux Green House, I want something that's environmentally responsible uh, as a material. So, what's your take? I, I think it's just like a person. Mm -hmm. Environmental concern is a character. Mm -hmm. It is not a purpose. So, a character in the sense that it comes with us as we grow uh, more civilized uh, and uh, it come together. Mm -hmm. So, we appreciate beauty, we appreciate uh, uh, efficiency, technological uh, avan advancement. Mm -hmm. I think it's come together. We, we, we had to be conscious about uh, environmental uh, requirements. Mm -hmm. And this is increasingly built into the product. Right like now, all the building is green label, mm -hmm. and you have to be green and to, to fit in. Mm -hmm. As a, uh, a responsible corporate citizen, also, our product has to be uh, in tune with the environment. Of course, we have our corporate value, this is part of it. Mm -hmm. But it's not just we are preaching about it and uh, high sounding. I think all the product to be at the frontier. You, you have this environmental mm -hmm. uh, consideration and all our product and services mm -hmm. has this. And I think uh, increasingly our customers like us, also they are living in the contemporary world, I think they, they have certain uh, social uh, uh, consciousness and mm -hmm. they are aware of this and a lot of people are insisting on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, indeed, uh, it is a good uh, thing to have and uh, it's not necessarily more costly mm -hmm. as we select. Yeah, that's important yeah. Right? because most people think that um, uh, being environmentally uh, concerned or sustainable means spending more money yep. for the yep. materials up front, uh, which is you have proven is yep. not necessarily yep. true. So speaking about um, environmental concerns, right? Uh, now, usually it is the uh, homeowners that ask about whether the product is safe for use and all that. So uh, do you see environmental concerns for, for uh, when it comes to material selection, is it more of a homeowner's attribute or is it more for commercial um, commercial office buildings and all that? Uh, where is this concern coming out, coming out strongly? Is it from homeowners or is it from commercial uh, office spaces owners? No, I think it, it applies to all, uh, all uses, mm -hmm. whether it's a consumer or commercial mm -hmm. or, or uh, developer or mm -hmm. big... Uh, but where's the largest demand coming from? Uh, right now, I, I think all is, mm -hmm. is among all is, is required. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example, if it's not a requirement, actually, it's a necessity. For example, you use a lot of glue if it is not, say, toxic, the smell is not good for, mm -hmm. for the individual. Mm -hmm. You use a uh, material they produce with uh, a lot of uh, element that mm -hmm. is uh, not 
not safe or will not last. And that is also not uh, environmental friendly because it's quality is already an environmental solution. If you produce quality product instead of something you just use it tomorrow, you flow away. Mm. And that is becoming the landfill and yep. create a lot of waste. Very simple question like this. You save money for things that is not lasting. The next day you're staying and you don't like it, you throw away. It's abusive. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think we're not going to uh, make an ethical statement. Mm-hmm. But I think increasingly the long run cost for the individual or, mm-hmm. or, or the uh, institution is the same. Okay. We don't want to be wasteful. Okay. So it's important for the user, the consumer or the corporate client to, to really understand what they are, they are buying. Mm-hmm. So uh, they should demand uh, certain content. Okay. So it is uh, not certain content misled. Certain, and certain standards, yeah, right? The, the, mm-hmm. stand, the standard, the content, in fact, is what they are deserving to have mm-hmm. uh, for a certain product come with a, a good background, good uh, corporate uh, branding, the product brand, and all these things come together. So I think uh, uh, the, the environmental concern is part of it. It's not uh, anything you can separate. Thank you. But uh, now, Luin, if the last time we met was uh, an event that commemorates the launch of Didio, mm-hmm. right? So as what Jimmy has alluded to, it's made of porcelain and all yeah. that. Uh, but even before the launch of Didio, there were other products that are uh, kind of considered flagship products of Lux New House. Mm-hmm. So uh, based on your own observation, right, uh, what are the products, what are the top three products that people always go to Lux New House for? I think um, Jimmy has done a very good job in specializing in solid mm-hmm. surface. Mm-hmm. So most, a lot of people know us as the like sort for our solid the go to guy yeah, for the right, solid right, right. right. Especially when it comes to design mm-hmm. and the technical expertise mm-hmm. and also like when it comes to more uh fabrication and all that, fabrication mm-hmm. specialties, yeah, they always come to Jimmy for that for this So if I'm hearing you correctly, that means mm-hmm. uh the solid surface uh has always been a, uh there's always been a steady demand for it. Almost like a brick and butter, right? For yeah, Lux New correct, House. Correct. Uh what are the other products that people are now looking to Lux New House for and and, and you're getting more inquiries about it. Oh, definitely the large format slabs, right? Okay, Video. tell me, tell me more about the large format slabs, yes. because I've been mm-hmm. to your, uh, you know, to your uh, warehouse, your yeah. showroom. Looks really nice. Tell, mm-hmm. tell us more about it. Okay, it's uh, it's manu- like he said, it's manufactured in Italy. Mm-hmm. Uh, we brought it in and we're doing in-house fabrication and all that for it. Mm-hmm. But it's a very good replacement for marble because it's mm-hmm. very, it's large. It's three meters by one point five. Okay, and we have so many variations and. Mm-hmm inspiration like stone like the marble the onyx and all that and it looks very real mm. so any homeowners that come in they're definitely very impressed with the size of it and the, the graphics yeah okay yeah so what i'm hearing is that uh homeowners that choose a large slab mm. because they are they are going for the visual impact uh, mm. is it partly because because it's a large slab there is no joints the the way you know the way tiles would there's lesser joints, lesser, lesser joints definitely right? lesser joints yeah because but there will be joints is, yeah, if you, exceed the, nice if you exceed the actual yeah. size of it. Not like soy survey, soy survey is seamless. Yeah. But this one yeah. is, is still, there's a standard format for it. And this mm-hmm. large slab format, right? Uh, first of all, what material are they made from and where do they, where are they, uh, where are they in stock? Oh. Which part of the home? I think you can better answer that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this, this is a technological mm-hmm. product. It's, okay. uh, it's a new trend. Okay. It's uh, been invented a couple of years ago and now it's very hard. The, the most popular choice product mm-hmm. because it replaced mar- marble it is taking a, a 3D picture from a digital picture from uh, from marble from real marble so it had totally uh, almost identical texture of of the, of the marble but yeah it doesn't have the but it's not made of marble it's not marble okay. it's made of porcelain Possibly. and it has the feel of marble mm. but it's beautiful and harder than marble it has a mob scale of seven uh-huh. whereas marble is uh, from limestone it's very porous mm. and it cannot uh, resist acids uh, and stain uh, and so porcelain is also. non-porous uh, porcelain non non porous uh-huh. it's just like you see some porcelain okay. where it can last thousands of years. Okay. So it's a fire resistant. Our material can uh, resist uh, up to thousand two hundred degrees centigrade, whereas uh, the uh, there's very none of the material 
can be. It's harder than stainless steel, so it's very good if for. If it's harder than stainless steel, yeah. that makes it even harder than marble, right? No, of course, definitely wow. harder than okay. marble. Is stronger and marble is porous, and this is non-porous. Mm. Uh, water resistant, fire resistant, it, it have all the advantage and it's lightweight, it's mm. 6 mm uh, thin slab, so marble you have to go to 30, 25, 30 mm. and it still cannot hold its body, so it's very brittle. Mm. So so it can be used in uh, light marble, you can use in a household or commercial setting, lip lobby mm -hmm. uh, or, or, or other office environment. So it if that's the case, that means it, it mimics marble but it has none of marble's vulnerabilities or weaknesses. Yes. Is, is that what I'm hearing? Making the best out of marble natural stones. Ah uh, okay. And especially the visual look, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um if for porcelain, right? Um because yesterday we, we, we had a demo session with some materials in uh, a different show uh, and one of the concerns was like wine stain, uh, you know, acidic fluids like lemon tea, uh, certain juices and all that. Would, would, could porcelain uh, hold up to those? No, no, no at all. No at all. These, yeah. are, these are the things that is uh, uh, very vulnerable for marble okay. and uh, this is absolutely nothing for porcelain. porcelain. Nothing yeah. Okay. okay. And this is uh, the video, right? The video, yeah. it's, it's the deal. Yeah. yeah, it's the Italian word, or yeah. two word, the deal. Yeah. 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 So if you're wondering how it looks like, we have footages of it coming yeah. up later. Uh, so coming back to DDO, right? Uh, how many colors are we looking at when it comes to porcelain? Because porcelain is not something that naturally comes to mind mm. for homeowners because yeah. some homeowners yeah. are laymen, yeah. like me, right? They, they, the first thing that comes to mind is probably tiles, marble, uh, or, or granite, but uh, porcelain may be something new for them. Actually, we should be looking at this as a, a, a new classification. New classification. Uh, yeah. it, it, you, you just I think it's quite misleading as just porcelain. Correct. Like porcelain normally is for pot, for some yeah. small yeah. pieces. So it con conjures a different yeah. image so in that. These are yeah. entirely new technology with mm. the ingredient uh, basic nature of uh, porcelain. But it's totally new technology. Mm -hmm. uh, we, lay, we group this and we classify this as a engineering marble. Engineering marble. Uh, so that is a, a fair statement. Mm -hmm. So to complement our uh, going back to uh, our product portfolio, mm -hmm. we have solar surface, we have quartz mm -hmm. and we have engineering marble. Mm -hmm. Solar surface, our representative product is LG Hymat from Korea. Yeah. With the quartz is our uh, mass uh, our compact quartz from Spain. Then this engineering marble is the deal engineering mm -hmm. marble from Italy. So this will be our uh, key drivers okay. uh, to cover all the services requirement mm -hmm. at home, commercial, hospital, hotel, uh, projects, or how you many, name it. How many colors are... Uh, 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 the technology is important, just like how many colors are fashion, in the fashion, in the mm. dress. It's unlimited. unlimited. But of course, at different times, we have different patterns. So at the moment we're carrying about 20 to 30, 40 mm -hmm. styles. And, and the styles are, are actual, constantly evolving. This, yeah, these this, this yeah. are actual marble. Mm -hmm. Some are, uh, it is actual marble. Mm -hmm. So uh, all the color of marble are available. So because we also can customize subjects mm -hmm. to certain uh, minimum quantity. Mm -hmm. But in general it's marble. Mm -hmm. So it's marble, marble graphic, marble texture, marble color. And they are uh, available marble color. In fact, we can also remake some obsolete color mm. if there are a requirement and we can create those. Uh, so the colors could be, in other words, for a homeowner uh, deciding on porcelain, have decided on porcelain, you can choose from the current selection. En yeah. Engineering marble. Engineering marble, yeah. okay. So choosing from the current selection of colors and style, right. they can actually make a request hmm. for a different color. They, they, uh, for individual home, I think it's not necessary. We have a wide we range. Have wide wide, yeah. But for commercial? For, yes, commercial. for project, for if you have yeah. basic uh, of about 800 uh, square meter, mm. it's enough. Uh, okay. Now, uh, coming back to your flagship products like mm. Hymax, uh, uh, Compact, Quartz, yeah. and DDO, uh, DDO right? Mm. History. Uh, mm. Do you observe any differences in the clientele that goes for the three these options? Are there a distinct differences between the homeowners that goes for uh, 
Compaq versus mm. ADO versus uh, LG. Right? So as a as a part of our product uh, design, product mm. mix design, mm. these are complementary. In fact, we mm. have we have customer they want all of them. Yeah, ah, used okay. in different areas. Which forms a bigger yeah, part of the design. Yeah, yeah. so okay. source surface is high mat, you work on the flexibility, seamless, okay. and easy to work with, very fast. And it's a, also a uh, budget value, you know, mm. all these things. Whereas for quads, you go for very high, hard service, mm -hmm. uh, but you see some John 9, okay. also beautiful, mm -hmm. but very hard, yeah, so yeah. Uh, harder than. Uh, let's say comparatively mm -hmm. harder than uh, salt surface, surface, but you will see the jaw line. Mm -hmm. So you have to be thicker. But mm -hmm. salt it if you want a curve of it, you can't achieve that. So mm -hmm. salt surface can achieve certain effect. Mm -hmm. So increasingly, we use uh, salt surface for a lot of mobile form curve, uh, curve mm -hmm. linear surfaces. Mm -hmm. Whereas for uh, quartz, probably more kitchen countertop, mm -hmm. uh, more going to be a big. Uh, Selection. But some people also use source surface for the workability, right? For giving, mm -hmm. also chemical resistant. Mm -hmm. uh, quartz is somehow uh, is engineer, mm -hmm. but UV light resistant not as good in terms of comparatively mm -hmm. compared with source surface. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Then also uh, compared with uh, uh, this um, engineering marble, mm -hmm. uh, the the totally no problem when you put in sunlight, uh -huh. day and night. Okay. And even stronger than source of it, quartz okay. or whatever in the market. Fire mm -hmm. resistant and this is much better for the lip the fire fireman lip lobby mm -hmm. or the uh, lip lobby you mm -hmm. should use a high very high fire weighted material mm -hmm. than this uh, fin uh, fin set. Mm -hmm. The fin slab the uh, engineering marble will be a very good so the solution. Mm -hmm. So uh, thanks for that Jimmy. So what I'm hearing from both of you is that uh, the the selection or rather the selection criteria for homeowners goes beyond just the looks mm. but also the functionality as well, yeah, right? Of course, of course. And of course some of them may have very specific preferences like uh, like what Jimmy mentioned that uh, some of them may not like the join line so they, they, mm -hmm. they may have second thoughts about choosing quartz, yeah. right? So they may opt for uh, DDO or they may go for mm. the uh, high max, right? Yeah, high but also th different area of application. Mm, different area of application. Yeah, like the, uh, the the engineering marble can be good for wall and floor mm -hmm. application. Okay. The quartz can be uh, on the kitchen countertop. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, with source of you can have uh, cladding, furniture cladding, also countertop, mm -hmm. uh, also uh, some curved application. And water resistant, very water resistant, mm -hmm. very so. UV uh, resistant. Yeah, so it's complementary. Mm -hmm. So it's important for for the consumer or the user to come to a reliable uh, 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 company mm -hmm. to find the the right product for themselves. Mm -hmm. And we work with a lot of designer or interior contractor uh, uh, specifier to to uh, support them in finding a good interior solution for them. Okay. Now, uh, it, it's good that you walk through the different kind of applications and uh, actual installation and purpose for which these materials are for. Mm. Uh, but have you come across any um, buyer, whether homeowner or commercial, that uh, put on a request that was rather unusual, that mm. doesn't fit in the normal, uh, normal thread of thinking of, or uh, you know, uh, the application may look a little bit different or they make unusual requests and customization. So on that note, right, what was the most unusual or customization request you had for a project? Uh, take your time, don't have to no, rush I away. Think, I think they, they, we all unique. So unusual means very unique. Unique, okay, yeah. so that's another word for it. Yeah, unique, that, okay. that is actually good. Yeah? The, and uh, we like people have very uh, special requirement. That's, that's what differentiates us and uh, enable us to work harder to find the right solution. And this is the natural force, part of the natural force to bring about why we are uh, bringing, uh, have one specialization and growing it from source surface to quad uh, together to enlarge it to include quad surfaces and to include these engineering marble surfaces because of customer. The, the particular, the particular quality of the customer requirement. For example, 
people yeah. want like marble. Yeah. But then marble is mother nature. They always have black spot, uncontrollable yeah. effect. Yeah. And then oh, very nice marble they put on kitchen countertop. Yet kitchen countertop kitchen is very challenging. They have stains there. Yeah. They have food juice that is acidic, and uh, they have chemicals that you can never get rid of. Yeah. Whereas the salt sulfate and uh, all all cause on uh, our our porcelain can have no problem. They have fire rating. So um, so all all we are trying to address this issue mm-hmm. and there are some people who are more particular and they do like marble. I think this is one of the breakthrough we have now the uh, mm-hmm. engineering marble. Mm-hmm. The dual engineering marble is is totally identical mm-hmm. and yet without all the all the a uh, particular concern that the individual have, I don't want a patch, uh, I, w- mm-hmm. I want some randomness, but yet I don't want all the irregularity mm-hmm. or the... So they want the randomness mar- of marble, yeah. uh, almost organic, yeah. but they do not want the weaknesses, the porousness yeah. of the, marble. The, yeah. And okay. then our DDO uh, engine marble, marble can uh, provide that solution. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and also, even when we have the material, then they also have the challenge of time when you talk about unreasonable request mm-hmm. actually it actually is just a, telling us a special need yeah. it's not unreasonable yeah. it's a special need I like to have a beautiful woman <laughs> so you see it as a challenge yeah I, I see yeah, it's just a, a, a real need yeah. it's just another angle of uh, getting to discover what is yeah. in the market mm-hmm. so uh, and then they are telling us and we had to be thankful yeah. Yeah. one of our most uh, like unusual Unusual design. I think that was a solid surface dress. Ah, that's right? good. Yeah. Solid surface. Solid surface dress. Solid surface dress. Yeah, yeah. Is that the yeah? Like, was that the most unusual one? That is one, but it is mm. o- only a dress for uh, a design installation, mm. not a real dress. Not a real. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Of, you cannot wear. So, I, so I cannot ask for a solid surface oh. shirt. Uh. No, no, no. I don't think. <laughs> one day we will do something <laughs> for you. Uh, to uh, sim- simulate, we so do you- have a, a dress a look a sculpture we mm. make for that one. But I do want to address to mm. that uh, particular request, That's like like Saha did. Uh, they were demanding uh, in the eyes of consumer. They want to do a uh, home design uh, and also for vanity uh-huh. and kitchen application, mm. very convenient and have certain thing to come in with it and and it's almost impossible and we have our 3D designer working with them to turn turn up some good product mm-hmm. and that is one of the thing uh, that uh, we can we can talk about mm-hmm. uh, having the material and the technology and the right mind the design capability to work with yeah. the demand whether it's from designer or from individual homeowner or commercial uh, customer, mm-hmm. we are able to provide the, the right solution for them. Okay. Now, uh, speaking about projects, uh, unusual or otherwise, mm-hmm. uh, uh, both of you may have different answers for this, uh, so I'm, I'm kind of curious to hear. Uh, what was the most memorable project that Lux New House has taken on? Uh, from, from your own lenses, mm-hmm. I mean, you may have a different answer, we may have a different answer. Mm-hmm. So maybe we start with the, we start with doing this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for a change, for a change. Yeah. I actually haven't done anything very... You, from your looking, for your understanding, what mm. you yeah. have seen. Yeah, or what was the project that kind of stand out to you, like a very big project, a mega project that you are kind of proud to be... Oh, uh, definitely the Zaha Hadid. Uh, the Melbourne yeah, project. Yeah, the Melbourne Melbourne. project. Oh, I thought that was very unique. Uh, uh, what was the context behind the Melbourne project for the homeowners who are not familiar with it? What, what's the context mm. of it? Uh, is it for... Her designs are always very curvilinear. So she's a designer? Yeah, she's okay. an architect. Actually. Architect. Yeah, she's okay. an architect. And she, um, her designs are always very convenient. She, she always plays around with her surface very well. Uh-huh. So one of uh, there was a collaboration in terms of design. Mm-hmm. We worked with her for this project in Melbourne. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's displayed in our museum, mm-hmm. and this like there's this seamless sink. Yeah, I thought that was very for seamless sink. Mm, com- yeah. It's like a one whole piece. Uh-huh. Yeah. For an integrated uh, vanity counter, mm-hmm. and also another fireplace and another uh-huh. kitchen. 
a fully cluttered with song mm. surface. We gotta have pictures of those. Yeah, yeah those now are I'm very intrigued now. <laughs> it, it's, it's in our song surface museum mm. in our uh, in our office building. Mm. So you welcome anyone uh, welcome to see yeah. by appointment only. By appointment only. She wants to service you well. So yeah, yeah. yeah. But but I do want to add on to the other. Uh, uh, Reference sure. uh, yeah, like the Singapore Airport, mm -hmm. uh, Changi Airport Terminal ah, Four. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of big paddle on the, the uh, exterior wall cladding mm -hmm. with a uh, the ceiling paddles. Mm -hmm. The length, uh, the, the, the yeah. The, the so definitely the, last lap format. Yeah, the mm -hmm. last no, lap. No, no. no, this is a, a special solar surface okay. for okay. the uh, skylight. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, of the wiping hall, those big paddle like up. Mm -hmm. So at Terminal 4, if you uh, yeah, have if a chance to go, go, go in and yeah. have a seat. So that is solar surface. So we also yeah. use that for exterior wall, for the car park signage, very big one. Mm -hmm. Because it's a uh, sting and uh, UV light resistant property. Mm -hmm. okay. What are the, what are the uh, projects uh, of that scale uh, that that's memorable to you, other than the Changi Airport one, because you have you have uh, in while preparing for this episode, uh, you have had a lot of accolades last year. House. So, uh, of all the projects and accolades that you have received, which one kind of uh, strikes a chord in your heart, like the most nostalgic for you, most memorable? For you? Actually, Singapore is very uh, conservative in this. So we have this wonderful project in Melbourne. We have a lot of. Uh, Project museum, project uh, opera house in China. Opera house in China. Yeah, so oh. we, we use uh, soil surface for for the wall cladding. Mm -hmm. uh, so th this will be quite interesting a solution. We uh, would uh, like to work with more curtain wall uh, cladding specialists, and uh, that we can also use a material mm -hmm. uh, for the exterior wall cladding. Mm -hmm. Now this uh, uh, can be extended in in addition to use of solar surface. We can also have the option of using uh, the DO engineering slabs. Those are this porcelain step can also be used for exterior application. Exterior application, yeah. Yeah. And which will uh, make the building uh, uh, beautiful, very beautiful, and uh, create a lot of option for design. Yeah, beautiful yet resilient because yeah. of its yeah. characteristics, right? Uh, so Jimmy, now we are kind of zooming in to you mm. as the entrepreneur because uh, as I alluded to in the beginning of the episode, uh, you've been through quite a bit in, in business, right? Uh, humble beginnings of Last New House and all the way to now where you have a showcase of large projects and accolades, right? So out of curiosity, if you have not taken up this path as an entrepreneur uh, and started Last New House, what do you reckon you would be doing now if you have not taken that route? Yeah, I like to be a farmer in China. <laughs> really? <laughs> I go back to nature. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, it's the beautiful. I think. Uh, so you have always felt at home yeah. in nature. That's, that's yeah, I think I think increasingly for for city dweller, uh, we always fascinated about what could be available. I think uh. it's, I think increasingly uh, nature is the most expensive. Uh, thing to have so we have to take care, take care of it. Yeah. Priceless, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, before you started Lux New House, uh, what were you what were you doing and uh, what led you to starting Lux New House? Again it will be, it's natural forces. All along uh, in my earlier career I've been working with multinational mm. overseas and uh, and uh, so since the uh, twenty some twenty five years ago I in the design industry? Yeah, I was in, in building. In building, the, yeah. okay. So I, ha and I come to Singapore, I'm Singaporean, uh, originally from Hong Kong. Uh, and I, I think, so I just, this natural force you take any one of us, sometimes you have to you have some decision to make. Mm -hmm. So uh, at a certain time I decided to to venture and start something from one person, myself, and slowly a uh, natural force will bring the organization up. It, it's not that much of something I just must do, but like human being, we grow. Mm. So organization is 
also so, will grow. So, so it wasn't so much of a conscious decision that you wanted to start Luxling Hall, but it seems like a progression. The next step, yeah, it, it's, it's a conscious decision to to start a company, uh-huh. right? but it is not with a specific. Uh, you don't have all the specifics yeah, worked out. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. It's just like you come to the world, you just <laughs> grow. <laughs> but but you were, <laughs> you, but you were ready anyway, right? You, you know <laughs> what you have to do, and you have to do well to take yourself to certain. Stage, then you decide what's best for you, what's the opportunity, yeah. what's the good mix, mm. and you understand yourself and talking to your friend, your family. I think it's a natural process. We don't need to be, uh, yeah. I just like to be Lee Kuan Yew, uh, which is <laughs> my uh, person I highly respect. But I, I think we have to appreciate whoever we are, and we take, and we, it's very important that we will pursue the excellence of ourselves. Yeah, what is the best for for being ourselves, mm-hmm. and I think everyone has an excellent part of it, and uh, it can be excellent in any area. Okay, thank you. Now the next question is for both of you, mm-hmm. right? So you all have to take turn, eh? okay, to answer. Now, if you could travel back in time, right? Because okay, the reason I'm asking this question just to set up, right, is because uh, you have, especially you, Jimmy, you've been through a lot, right? Uh, two decades of running a business that is doing very well. Uh, but I'm sure you know it has been up and down. There's happy moments and you know there's moments that's quite challenging, right? So uh, okay, so let's talk about the challenging part. Was what was the most challenging moment that you had faced? Uh, doesn't matter whether it's personal or professional. Uh, uh, throughout your tenure as president of last year, what was your what was your most oh, biggest challenge? Okay, I, I I think as a business is is uh, really challenging uh, mm-hmm. uh, that when you come to face the reality mm-hmm. of a lot of uh, mm-hmm. ch- uh, challenges of mm-hmm. the market, not enough business or some uh, some problem that has happened. Mm-hmm. So uh, we have gone through four crises in the past uh, two decades. What we, we've gone through is very important that we accept the, the things mm-hmm. and we work with it, whether it's a failure or really it's a change of uh, market, because some of the things as an individual and also company the same, uh, we, we have to face the reality. Then we have to uh, look at them and adjust ourselves and okay. cope with it and be confident yeah, mm-hmm. moving forward, not, not giving up, not uh, holding your own value you know, and uh, believe in them. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, trust God <laughs> so we can continue to to excel and, yeah, and, yeah. and and I think we will do that because it is our nature okay. uh, to survive so we can survive so we have to believe in that mm-hmm. by doing good and holding on uh, you will do you will go through whatever challenges that come along thank you now Green <laughs> I have a similar question for you okay. alright uh, with a twist alright what was the most challenging moment working with Jimmy no I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> very no. challenging <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding <laughs> Very Start, hard to please, work with please me. Please type that off on the record. Okay, no. So why would I have a job with you? I know, right? Okay. More serious question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, working in a business like Lux New House, where you have big profile clients, and mm-hmm. uh, in the words of Jimmy, sometimes you have unusual requests, unique requests, and all that. Uh, can you recall a moment where uh, it, it could be? It was quite challenging for you. There was any particular challenging moment or. Uh, a moment when you felt like, wow, this is this is quite worrying. This is quite scary, mm. right? Uh, adrenaline rush and all that. Was there any particular moment like that? Of course, of course. I think working closely with my okay. boss, yeah. And there's like a very huge gap of experience and knowledge and you know, technical or non-technical wise, business wise. Yeah, I think that itself is a daily challenge, really. Yeah. You see a good coach. He's a very good coach. <laughs> He's a I good wouldn't, coach. Yeah, I okay. would. You're not saying that because the camera. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm being very honest. I learn a lot from him, uh, okay. and he's very willing to teach, okay. which is a very good thing. When uh, yeah, it's good to have a mentor that is willing to teach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I hear you. I hear you. Mm. Uh, I, you know, yeah. mentorship is important. It's easier to learn that way, also, right? Yeah, mm. having a good mentor and yeah. Yeah. it's a faster way of yeah. learning. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to pick up on that point mm. about. Uh, mentorship because uh, in my interaction with you I can see that you, you know you, part of your uh, psyche or part of your vibes uh, seems to come from a lot from the the interaction between the two of you right mm-hmm. so what was the most important lesson you picked up from Jimmy 
right? Having seen oh. him gone through 24, 30 <laughs> over years, you know, building a large new house empire, what was the most important lesson that you picked up from I, him? I would, there's no, I cannot zoom in to one important lesson. Well, a few, a few. That yeah, you, but you there's a remember. phrase that he likes to, he likes to use around me. Uh, he would, that caught, like, that got stuck in my head, man. Whenever I give him something, he always tells me, he always tell me not to give him in a, in a teacup perspective. Like, give it in a broader perspective. <laughs> okay, maybe he has to say it already. Okay, tell me more. So this is something that's very intriguing. Eh? Not yeah. a teacup perspective. So. Uh, uh, it, what is that? In a way, I, I feel it's also uh, my duty to give her feedback. Mm-hmm. And I was so busy. So every time and we have the opportunity of uh, working on a certain thing. I try to, I deliberately try to say a little bit more so that give her a little bit more feedback. So that means this, basically I want her to open up a bit more to look wider mm-hmm. and deeper. Mm-hmm. So by doing so, she will pick up a lot of learning herself from the opportunity. Yeah. That well, is mm-hmm. confounded. She's confronted with okay. and looking at issue, there are more other issues, more other consideration. Mm-hmm. Looking at solution, in that there are things behind to make certain things possible or not possible mm-hmm. and how to overcome them. Mm-hmm. So how has Jimmy's views and principles affect or kind of molded your your way of doing things at work or in life? I think the mm, Probably not to look into look into an issue too closely and always think in a broader perspective. So to be able to zoom in and yeah. zoom out. Yeah, it's you correct. Like it. you understand the, the personally understand the context of the issue, but then do not get so hung up on it. Mm. Yeah, I always look at the macro side of things. Okay. No, everyone is different. Mm. She's also different yeah, from me. Yeah, very. <laughs> but I, I just offer some uh, yeah. feedback. Okay. So but I do appreciate she's uh, very sociable, uh, social skill very strong, very witty, very fast, very intelligent. So uh, I, encourage, I encourage her. I feel intimidated already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I might lose my job. She's very easy to work with and uh, I, I also encourage her to continue with that. But on the other hand, when you're too fast, sometimes you tend to miss out something. Mm-hmm. The so, smaller details. So like, yeah. we, we need to learn the fast and slow way of living, mm-hmm. working. So these are uh, the youngsters, sometimes they all think very far, very fast is good. Mm-hmm. But actually, you have to also draw back and you can do that too. You have to come mm-hmm. to learn yeah. to be slow. It's not just being slow, it's slow with a purpose to look at things again so that mm-hmm. you can have better, more other things uh, comprehensive, it's not and missing anything. I think you make, a, make her a better person. Then she decide uh, to choose, continue to drive a fast car or just enjoy the, the mm-hmm. slow walk. Uh, That's a good analogy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jimmy, I've got a question for you. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, don't, I may not okay. have the answer. <laughs> oh, no, worries. I think this one you have an answer. Now, if, if you could travel back in time, mm. right? Time machine, I take a time machine, yeah, travel back. I, 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 I watched that movie. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> back, to the future. back to the future. Okay, okay. So we are in the same generation. <laughs> All right. And you can, if you could travel back in time and give a critical piece of advice to the younger Jimmy Tong, what would you say to him? Say what? What would you say? What you say you do differently? Ah, what would you do differently? Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> because we can't possibly get all our, you know, all. Everything's in a straight line. Sometimes things, you know, do good, yes. do get out, do get out of control, you know. And then you look back, you had a better reflections on it. So hindsight is twenty twenty. They say, right? So if you could travel a bit in time and then tell your young, that younger Jimmy Tong a critical piece of advice that could have uh, make things a little bit easier, uh, turn out in a better way. What would that that piece of advice be? Oh. Uh... Maybe I would have to advise. Uh, then the Jimmy Tong to uh, to be uh, more uh, what do I say less conservative or more of more forward coming forward stronger because maybe I'm a bit a less conservative I, approach. I, I will be uh, I'll be more quite prudent because when I when I start uh, try to consider things uh, more comprehensively. This, but this is part of me. Okay. So uh, I, I would not say 
I probably will do the same thing. Uh, I would just encourage Jimmy Tong and just continue to do what you do. But uh, just uh, be more confident and do it uh, uh, stronger. Uh, stronger, faster. <laughs> stronger, faster in what you're doing. I, I think there are times because uh, I, I'm a bit of maybe I'm highly aware of the the uncertainties in the world. Things are changing, so I tend to think a little bit too much. Mm. But I I don't think it is a problem. I it's just necessary. Mm. But I, but sometimes it it pull me back a bit. Mm. Uh, but on the other hand, I I can't say I just want to just just go you know because that is very risky and uh, so everyone has to calculate the cost because there is the possibility of loss the risk is always there so you cannot say travel back in time this doesn't exist only yeah, you of course, of course. yeah so i think it's it's always good to reflect and uh, I would just do exactly what I'm doing. Just faster, <laughs> stronger. <laughs> so the, the younger Jimmy Tong, if you can travel back in time, yeah, will probably yeah, say, please, no, please no go back to your time. Yes, no <laughs> no, those, <laughs> don't stress but, me out. <laughs> but then on the other hand, there's a young kid, right? you cannot ask him to just jump. You know? yeah. No, you can't. It's because all... we all of us must move in your own comfort zone, mm. in your own, with your own comfort. Mm. If, if it is beyond mm. your comfort, don't do it. Mm-hmm. Because it's very risky. Mm-hmm. But how do you make it uh, a comfortable setting so mm-hmm. you can move on? And there's a lot of wisdom. Uh, we need to develop, we need to pray, we need to consult. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's no fast track. Uh, it's not just blindly, I uh, just say, you know, I won't do it. Mm-hmm. Because when you go in, uh, go to a new place, just, you cannot say just jump. It has to be totally no, I think you have to be. Mm-hmm. We have to be live a responsible life, and it's not just yourself. Mm-hmm. You have your family, you have your loved one to care for. Mm-hmm. So actually, those are actually the the pulling back factor sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> the cost, the loss, the cost is not just yourself. It, it can affect a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Jimmy. Now, uh, now closing off this episode, uh, just one last question. Uh, either one of you can take it. Uh, what can homeowners or uh, basically the what can the industry look forward to uh, coming out from Lux New House in the short term future, one or two years? What can we look forward to? No, I think that was very fast. You just wanted to. No, I think we have to relate to the to what's happening in the world. Mm-hmm. I think uh, being Singapore mm-hmm. and Singaporean uh, uh, are traditional and contemporary, mm-hmm. so we have both. So it's also this generation is a hybrid generation, mm. and we both uh, live in Western, Eastern, a mixed culture. Mm. So in the past or in the future, we we are living in a hybrid mm. lifestyle and mm. uh, information stage. Mm. So with that, we have to be aware, of, and these are good things that we can appreciate. And on the other hand, there are tradition we can uh, enjoy, mm. and I think. Uh, uh, is is the latest technology product, and uh, and what is the best in the world? And everybody has choice, and we can ch- and we can enjoy it, yeah, doing those things. And consumer or customer can choose those uh, things that is already available. So Lucky will 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 we'll like to be in the process to be able to offer uh, some of the best choices available and be a good corporate citizen, be able to uh, manufacture, create together and uh, offer some good solution for for the customer. And we, we, we feel uh, actually as a part of a corporate mission is to be able to develop uh, good products and services mm-hmm. that can uh, help to enhance the better living uh, of people in our communities, whether at home, uh, in office setting, or in big uh, development or big projects. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking to both of you. All right, so uh, you've just heard it from both of them, from Lux New House. It's been a very interesting interview. Uh, And uh, make sure that you tune in for future episodes where we bring more experts just like Jimmy Tong and Reading from Lux New House. I will share with you the behind the scenes 
activities happening, thoughts and wisdom that goes into uh, interior design and the building industry in general. Right, so this has been a 618 show, the experts edition. I'm Saba and he is Jimmy Tong. <laughs> and, and thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to follow our social media handles and of course uh, look out for Lux Newhouse social media accounts as well. A lot of things to look forward to, very interesting designs. Uh, you wouldn't want to miss following them. Alright, so thank you so much. Tune in again. Take care. Thank you.